Hip Hop Station, home of the Ricky Smiley Morning Show, Home 079. It's your boy, What's New with Stu, and you are locked into that after party right now. And I got a very special guest in the building, the beautiful, talented Danny Lay is in the building. How you doing, Danny? What's up, what's up? How you good, doing? Good, good, good. You jumped off the tour to come see me. I appreciate that. Got you. How's the tour going right now? Incredible, y'all. It was crazy. First show was in Atlanta. It was crazy. So lit. Yeah, um, the first thing I seen was uh, when you got here, you did a meetup at Atlantic Station. That was really dope. You had like a whole crowd of people do that. Yeah, it was They just so showed dope. up. I know, man. The, the cops were trying to, you know, hate on us. But oh, yeah, Atlantic, <laughs> let me tell you something. Atlantic Station security, they gonna hate. For That's real. just what they do. Um, so who else is on the tour with you right now? Man, it's just Tiana Taylor and uh, Jeremiah. Tiana Taylor and Jeremiah. That's dope. That's dope. Fire. So um, a lot of people don't know your backstory, um, so let's talk about that. Uh, where are you originally from? I was born in Miami, lived there for 10 years, went to Orlando for six. Uh -huh. I've been in Cali since I was 16 for eight years, so okay. it's like a mixture of Florida and Cali. I'm from Miami, Miami, so I know, I know oh, exactly, okay. I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, music, how long, how long have you been doing music for? Um, I've been singing my whole life, like as a little girl, I was, I was more shy about it. I've been dancing my whole life, but taking like music seriously, you know what I'm saying, like my career, like my music career, I would say since I was like... 19. Okay. 24 years. Um, you have a background in, in dance. I do. Um, you've been on, you've been performing with a lot of um, well-known artists. Mm -hmm. uh, who are some of the people that you've worked with doing dancing? Um, I actually was on tour with Jeremiah as a dancer, which is funny. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I worked with Pharrell, I worked with Missy, I worked with Megan Trainer, I worked with Prince, I worked with, um, a lot. A lot like of people. Pitbull, like, yeah. Just, yeah. Just, so, um, like, how did you trans transition into doing music from dancing? You know, um, I just got, I, I started making my connections in the music industry as a dancer. Like, people just knew I did music, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I would always show artists that I was working with my music. Mm -hmm. And um, from there, you know, I was like, I needed to make a decision to just stop dancing so people could take me serious as an artist. Right. And that's what ended up happening, you know. I mean, I had to prove myself, and I did, so it's doing good now. Uh, what know? do you think was the hardest, the hardest obstacle that you had to overcome in transitioning? Um, I mean, just like the respect, for mm -hmm. real, because people didn't see me as an artist; they saw me as a dancer. Right. Dancer, so. Um, you've uh, you've gotten a chance to work with some very, very, very iconic people. Mm -hmm. One being the legend himself. Rest in peace to the late great Prince. Yes. What was that experience like? It was dope, man. It was crazy. You know, I always think, like, why well, was Prince in my life? Why did he choose me? Like, you know? Mm -hmm. I always think of that. And I'm grateful that I learned a lot. You know, he was, like, he mentored me. Like, he showed, he told me a lot about the industry and just me as an artist, et cetera. Right. So. Like, how does, how does, like, how does that even happen? Like, how does, like, oh, no. you just make <laughs> the Prince? Like, you I have just, no idea. Like, in the DM I or something? I feel like, like, yeah. <laughs> like, I just, God got a lot of favor on me, man. Like, it's crazy. Um, so, is working on directing videos and stuff is that something that you want to pursue as well after music well, you know during your music career yeah i think it's a part of me that i'm always you know involved with with my brand and my music and stuff mm -hmm. i give i like to find people that see my vision and then have them like do it create it you know what i mean so right. i'm always involved on the creative end but you know i'm not going to be a director i'm going to be an artist and right. focus on that you know and create yeah that's dope um Last EP, Someone with Friends. It's a great project from top to bottom. I, I love the project. My favorite song is probably um, All I Know. Dope, thank you. I definitely like that thank record. Um, so your new project, tell me about your new project. Yeah, you know, um, my new my new album actually, it'll be, it'll be my first album. It's called The Plan. And I'm excited, yo. It's a whole, it's a whole vibe. Like I kind of switched it up a little bit, like touched different sounds and mm -hmm. like I'm excited to put it out for real because I just really wanted to show my versatility in this project so I got my trap hip-hop records I got my straight R&B records and I got a Spanish song in there and it's just you know Summer with Friends was a little bit more fun and mm -hmm. like summer this is like it's called the plan because it's just everything that I've been going through and what my plan is in my future you know what I mean so just taking care of my family working, making a name for myself, inspiring people, money, like everything. So right. it's more serious. So definitely, definitely. Um I definitely noticed the uh the Latin influence in your music. You know what I mean? Is um do you have a Latin Latin background? Mm hmm I'm a hundred percent Dominican. Hundred percent Dominicana. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's dope, that's dope. So um new record out right now? Mm -hmm. Lil Baby. Lil Baby. Tell me about this record. What, what, what was the inspiration behind this record? 
Man, you know, we was in the studio. I was with Islam, Jazzy, Vori, and yo, we was just like flipping through beats. Islam was pressing play. He played that beat. I was like, yo, it's a rap. This is fire. <laughs> I was like, how old are you? He's like, I'm 20. I'm like, oh, you a little baby. <laughs> <laughs> little baby. And me and Jazzy were like, little baby. Like, little baby. And we like started singing about some like dope shit, and then it just came together. Yo, it was just a vibe. Like, it was real quick. We did that song real quick. It's dope. So, yeah. What's up? So um, so what's next for Damian Lay after the tour, after the album? What are you planning to get into after that? Um, next year I will be, you know, of course dropping new music, and mm -hmm. I'll also be having my own tour. Okay. So February, kick off my own tour and travel, and just keep going on the Danny wave. Whoever wants to hop on it, you know what I mean? Just continue. All, all the Danny Lions. Yeah. <laughs> for y'all that don't know, she calls her fans the Danny Lions. Me too, my Lion gang. <laughs> the Lion Gang. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I definitely appreciate you. I know you're busy. I know you got to jump to the next city, so I definitely appreciate you for stopping through, kicking it with me. Thank you. You already know. Um, but y'all keep it locked right here. It's Atlanta, the more hip-hop station. It's all on 7.9.